And that is why um, the prosecution of uh, this notorious lady who's generated a lot of controversy in our country, Aisha Wan, is absolutely important. Um, two days ago on Tuesday, I was in court with the Attorney General, and I've taken it upon myself to appear in court on every sitting to, until the, the conclusion of the case. Because I'm, a, I'm an interested party as the Minister responsible for Mines, and I want to be there and to send the message out there as to government and flinching uh, commitment and seriousness to the prosecution of this lady. And, and that prosecution is begun. It is, is the Aisha one uh, plus four others. I think we are going back to court on the 24th of this month. The Attorney General is to be commended because he's been working on this matter expeditiously and in a very spirited manner. He himself is um, um, uh, representing the Republic in this matter. That is normally not the case. Normally, the Attorney General, you find him in Supreme Court on big constitutional uh, arguments to do with the country. But he's taking it upon himself to, to be there. And, and we're going to continue on that. And, and, and also other uh, uh, people that we can fish out of the loop and make an example of them. The indication we have is that when you begin to prosecute the foreigners, you begin to uh, convict them in your country, the courts of your country, and give them hefty deterrent punishment. Word goes out there, and then it becomes a, a disincentive for them to come in the uh, numbers that they do come. Um, I, I, should, I should say um, that the prosecution bit is a major one. Just yesterday or so, two Nigerians were convicted and sentenced to 20 years imprisonment. From 2017 to date, we have prosecuted and convicted and sentenced 187 illegal minors in Eastern Region alone. 280 accused persons are standing trial as we speak. We want to do more, we want to continue with the prosecutions, but my joy, and my joy will be when we begin to go after the campings themselves and begin to fish out the campings, the barons, the financiers, and prosecute them. I think that is one of the ways we can break the back of this um, uh, illicit industry. Mm -hmm.